guys welcome back to our youtube channel if you're new here hello and welcome to the channel please join the lovely gang by subscribing pressing that red button somewhere down here and if you're a regular degular you're my baby you're my lover you're my lovely welcome back to our channel so good to have you happy new year guys so this is my first official video for the year and i'm very happy to be back recording because um so like a uh, mini life update i've been feeling like a little bit fatigued and uninspired but listen you can't keep a good girl down you can't keep a good woman down the girl is back the girl is creating content the girl is uploading and yeah guys so this year i really want us to get the channel to 2000 subscribers and hopefully get the channel monetized so please help me by sharing this video giving it a huge thumbs up and leaving a comment down in the comment section that way the algorithm knows that you know what's popping and this channel is what's popping so the algorithm is going to push this video to as many many people as possible on this youtube streets but anyway guys um so just to kind of like ease back into the year what i've decided to do is i put out a q a on my instagram so that you guys can ask me questions and obviously i answer them um sort of just like you know um so if you're not following me and you don't know what i'm talking about you need to follow me on instagram it's at aisha underscore alvinas um same as my youtube really um the name so please follow me so that next time i have this interactive post up you can also leave your questions your comments and yeah i'd love to engage and hear from you so without rambling too much because i've been rambling <laughs> let's just get into the video so obviously i put up um the quiz or a q a situation so i got like a few um comments or questions whatever so i'm going to address those right okay so the, the first one says if you could have one thing in the world irregardless of price and accessibility what would it be huh? i'm not sure guys I'm really not sure if I could have anything irregardless of the price. So I'm assuming it, it, it's a, um, addressing like a physical object or definitely an experience. But I think definitely traveling. That's the one thing I would do if I could irregardless. I would travel the whole, whole world. I think that's like the one thing I would do. Um, or I could have, it's definitely the ability to travel to anywhere, anytime yeah um if your mom had another you what qualities would you want them to have oh guys <laughs> that is tricky because i feel like i'm a i'm a full package and there's some period <laughs> but um another me what qualities would i want them to have guys i, I really don't know because i just feel like I am perfect the way I am. But I think maybe what um what quality I would want to have, I think um the other me is supposed to have. I think definitely a little bit more of discipline compared to me because I feel like I tend to let feelings have the best of me. So for example, when I was feeling a bit sluggish, fatigued, you know, and just uninspired, I could not create or edit content which I already have, by the way but so i feel like definitely a little discipline from the other me would go a little too far and i think also like just better financial discipline because in as much as that's like one thing i i am learning and striving towards being really good at it's also like one thing i struggle with also i think because of my emotions i'm an emotional shopper guys one thing about me break my heart and i'm going to i'm gonna be spending money like i'm el chapo's wife so i think um right off the bed top of my mind those are the two things i can think about but otherwise i think like oh, i am such a wholesome person very empathetic very caring very compassionate very loving um yeah just genuinely all around a great person if you don't agree with me yeah that's that's a you issue my darling 
Okay, the next says, would you rather suck a guy's toes or suck a guy off? Definitely the latter. Not the toes. <laughs> guys, why are we sucking guys' toes? No, definitely suck the guy off. Because, oh, what? No way. Also, just like, mm -mm, no. I'll, mm -mm. Yeah, the latter. That is not the toes, yeah. As a woman of the big titty community, guys, you can see. How do you stay confident in them? I think um, definitely... I, I, I wasn't, I'm not really somebody that grew up with a lot of confidence or insecurity issues. But I think one of the things that contributed to it is like my first, first, um, I don't know, I, can't, I don't want to say normal boyfriend, but like my first serious boyfriend always hyped me up about my titties. He was literally like the best thing in the world. So I had a tendency of obviously like just soaking that in, believing in that. Like, every time you'd ask him, what's your favorite thing about you, titties? And I never felt sexualized. I never felt sexualized. So, yeah, I think now growing up in that type of relationship space, it just became a thing, like, they're actually a thing. And also, like, if I'm being honest, that's literally one of the things, like, most men always comment about. They're like, oh, my God, you have such beautiful boobs. So, it's not something that gives me insecurities. So, the next one says, if you could be a guy for a day, what's the first thing you would do? Cheat. <laughs> I would just cheat because that's what men do. Just to understand. <laughs> oh! Rudy, Rudy doesn't agree, guys. It's just like, no way. But I don't know. But seriously, if I, was, if I were a boy, even just, I don't know. I really don't envy men. But I think I would literally just try and enjoy some of those men privileges that they get just because they're men. And yeah, I just try to understand like what goes on in a man's mind. Because I feel like men are such complex human beings, honestly. But maybe also just cheat to understand why they do it. <laughs> anyway, um, the next one says, what's the worst thing you have done under your parents' roof? I never, I will never say that on the internet, guys. No, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next one. Um, if your ex showed up to your Dale saying he's homeless, what would you do? Refer him to an orphanage or a shelter where he can stay. <laughs> what must I do? <laughs> what must I do? I would obviously refer him to like a place where he can stay like for homeless people or whatever. But yeah, I don't know what else must I do. <clears throat> and then the next one says, oh, I love yours. So for those of you guys that don't have context, I really, really love this song by J. Cole, Love Yours. So the reason why I love this song is I think... Um, we live in such a fast-paced society, social media over-consuming everything in people's lives, and we have a tendency of always feeling like inadequate, feeling like, you know, like, my life is not good, like, my life is not theirs, I wish I could have who, who's what, who, whose boyfriend bought them this, who, whose husband bought them that, and this Love Your Song really just speaks to you're loving your own life and that there's nothing better than your own life because you're meant to live this life and not other people's life so i really love that songs because it really keeps me grounded and just keeps me reminded and grateful for all the things that i have in as much as i still like want other things but in the moment i i really like to think of it as a song that helps me meditate to just stay like focused and zoned in onto my blessings because I feel like so often like we are on social media consuming people's lives and we just feel like our lives are not enough or they're inadequate so yeah I think that was such a long answer but <laughs> that's why I love the song check it out okay just just go listen to it it's such a beautiful song okay the next one says what's your favorite sport and do you have a favorite player I like a couple of sports i like f1 definitely uh, rugby i love soccer yeah i i may be light i think just the three <laughs> the three um 
Do I have a favorite player? Um, so my favorite player, I don't know if they, if I call them players, but I feel like my favorite sportsman is definitely Lewis Hamilton and Verstappen. Yeah, I love those two. Um, the next one is how do you swallow? <laughs> solo what? <laughs> Guys, what are we soloing? Oh, guys, no. <clears throat> I wish I had like a glass of water to demonstrate, but in the absence of a glass of water, it is what it is. You get the vibes? <laughs> um, okay, the next one says, if you could have... Okay, no, this one I definitely answered. Oh, okay. So the next one says, um, what are your strengths? I think my strengths, one of my best strengths is definitely my, like, ability to be, like, very versatile and adapt. I'm one person, like, put me in any situation, I'm just going to thrive. I swear to God, like, I can adapt and adjust to spaces really fast. Shape shift to realities and just adjust very, very fast. I think that's one of my strengths. I think another is also just like my resilience. Guys, I am one person that like I'll keep pushing, I'll keep pushing, I'll keep pushing and forcing things until it just works. So I think that's also one of my strengths really. It's just like my ability to really, really go relentlessly after like everything I want. And yeah. And then another strength of mine, I think it's just like having a good heart despite a lot of things happening i think it's it is a strength because i feel like a lot of people tend to become hardened when things happen or things don't go their way but i feel like for me i wear my heart on my sleeves doesn't matter what happened yesterday it doesn't matter listen you can't keep a good woman down and I, i'm gonna always come back and come back better and i think that's that's also one of my strengths i think also i'm very empathetic towards people's situations and I think another strength is just, um, hmm, what other strengths do I have? <laughs> this is starting to feel like a job interview, but I think right off the, I'm sure like when I'm done recording this, I was like, oh, I was supposed to say that, I was supposed to say that, but anyway, right off the bat, top of my mind, this is what I could list. Um, the next one says, who or what inspired you to become a designer? For those of you guys who do not know, I am a fashion designer to a brand called Ayu Couture, which is doing amazing things, going to amazing places. And if you are not on the brand wagon yet of being an Ayu Couture babe, hop on, follow us on Instagram, it's Ayu Couture. I underscore couture. We also have a fashion academy class, um, a fashion academy, um, which is part of the brand, obviously, where we teach you how to sew, which is in three days. So beginner friendly, highly recommended. Please do check us out. But anyways, I rumble. So what inspired a fashion designer? I think um, if I'm being honest, it's a multiple or it's a combined it's multiple of things really it's, i can't pinpoint it to one thing so growing up i've always wanted to be a designer but that's because my mom was a, a seamstress or is a seamstress and i've always kind of like oh yeah i think i could do that but like on a bigger scale and then the other thing was i just loved arts and creativity everybody that was in me with me in high school or primary school know like i thrived at home ecology at arts those like where i was like a very good student do not get me wrong okay academically in all the other subjects i thrive but i think like my happy happy place like when i was most happiest doing something was when i was being creative so i think that's also one of the things that um that definitely influenced me and this thing that happened in grade eight which i don't ever get over but i've obviously healed um was there was this incident in school where we were told like to become like you need to show what you can become so obviously now this girl this girl that I was in class with she was so good at sketching and so obviously like 
<laughs> now people because my sketch was terrible i'm not gonna lie my sketch was horrendous and his sketch was so good and everybody was like girl ain't no way you're gonna become a designer just like ain't no way so i think that also just kind of like fueled my motivation and i think um coming to university being in uni i needed to find ways to make money so i think all those things together just propelled me into being a fashion designer and obviously postgraduate you don't have a job but life is going on okay so it was just like listen i love doing this i could do it for an income the income could sustain me so and i genuinely love it so i was like listen let's do it so that's how we ended up doing it. so like i said it's a couple and a multiple things that really led me to the then the next thing is what keeps you But if I'm being honest, because I feel like there are days where I wake up and like, like I've been saying, guys, I was, I've, I was feeling very sluggish, very fatigued. But I think the only thing that keeps me going is like God. I always have this thing to say, like, God could have chosen to woke somebody up, but he woke me up. And I just feel like it would be an insult to not keep going. It's like taking for granted the grace, the love everything that he provides on a daily so i think for me it's just that um appreciation and gratitude that i have towards god and i know that he even understands when we're going through these moments of like feeling down and trials and tribulations but i just feel like it's my thanksgiving to god the least i can do is even in those trials and tribulations it's just to find like a sweet spot where i can sort of like gather myself and keep going and i think also just generally like i want to live a soft life i want to be a berry <laughs> with loads and loads of money i want to be a rich auntie so yeah i think that also really just fuel my resilience i want my mama to live a good life my dad i just want to take care of my friends my fa my siblings and those of you guys that know know that i do a lot of philanthropy work and i know that if i'm in a good space financially i can take that to even bigger heights and i know it's something that i don't frequently share on social media or i just don't even share it <laughs> at all but the people that know know that this is things i do so i feel like having more or achieving things can definitely help me help more people yeah so i think those are some of the things that help me going but definitely first just like my thanksgiving to god i always want to feel like the least i can do with everything that you have given me it doesn't matter the struggles it's just to keep going as a thanksgiving so yeah oh guys you guys are not getting deep we're like you know just laughing now what is all this deepness okay um use five words to describe yourself in general hmm. five words i'm beautiful I'm loving. Five words is too small, guys. Let's make it ten. <laughs> I'm beautiful. I'm loving. I'm kind. I'm empathetic. And I'm very, very smart. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm very smart. I'm creative. I'm creative. I'm very outspoken. You know, I'm very outspoken. And opinionated um i think i'm an empath definitely an empath and um hmm, what else can i describe myself um yeah i think maybe that's i'm hard working guys i'm very hard working very, very hard working and i'm incredibly reliable I think I am. Yeah. So five was too little to put a whole me into five words, guys. Stop with your big. <laughs> okay, let me see. What advice? What would you advise a depressed person that feels like giving up? Ooh, that's a little deep. So um I I I don't Thing. okay I, I definitely did struggle with depression at some point and it was more so depression and anxiety so i think i kind of 
do have like a glimpse of what it kind of feels like being there it's because also like i feel like people's depression really comes like in different you know it doesn't come like the same for everybody but i think what i can say is just honestly like just find help like go seek help because most of the time when you're depressed like it's chemical imbalances in a lot of things that you yourself don't even understand so just try and get help because i know for a fact that i don't know how i would have survived without therapy and also like just talk to people you know tell them how they feel how you feel because i feel like at the end of the day really people love us people want to support us but because we don't communicate how we feel they don't know how to do that and they think you're okay because you're not saying something but you also feel like they're supposed to know but unfortunately this is maybe not something you want to hear but people are going through life every day like they're going through the motions every day for you to just feel like because somebody hasn't noticed that you're not okay like it means they don't love you or something i feel like that's just a little selfish and a little offish and that's also justifiable when you are depressed i understand why you'd feel like that but yeah all in all i just feel like just seek help really talk to people and i feel like i can't even say pray because when i was depressed i wasn't praying i was just like you know but if you can if you still have the space to pray you know there's nothing that god cannot heal there's no chemical imbalance there's nothing no situation that god cannot touch really so just pray go to church and also like i think a lot of people when they're depressed they don't try to do things to become better they don't want to become better and i feel like that makes things worse but if you are depressed you know it you acknowledge it and you want to deal with it one of the things you can do really is do things that are going to help you feel better even if it's going for karaoke going for a walk in the park just do things and i know it's very hard it's easier for me to sit and say and like do it but for, especially because for when when i was depressed i spent most of the time just sleeping in bed but i think when the that zeal came back to i need to leave this can be my life life needs to go on i think i started taking small walks you know like instead of sending kids to go buy for me chips i'd go myself and i think those small things with the support of my family my friends um therapy really helped me like get through the depression and deal with anxiety so yeah and i'm just sending you so much love you know i hope you heal i hope you get to the other side better yeah it's very heavy it's really heavy but i'm just sending you so much love and praying for your healing and you get through it and yeah really guys therapy helped me and i know it's not everyone's cupcake but the advice i can give us what has helped me what has worked for me and sometimes you'd have to go to multiple different therapists to find like somebody that you can actually feel comfortable to open up with and they can help you but for me i just feel like when i went through therapy even things that i did not know contributed to my depression were dealt with and i think i've become like such a better person and one of the things that therapy has given me is the ability to introspect because my therapist would always ask why do you think is that and so frequently and often enough i find myself asking myself this question even post therapy like why do i think do i feel like that why do i think is this why do i think and that gives me a lot of clarity so yeah i'm sending you love <laughs> really sending you love and healing so um, um let me just see if there's any other questions that i did not answer i think i answered most of the questions and without trying to make this video long or make it you know um what i down i think um let's just end the video here i think it was on a rather heavier note but i think it's conversations that we definitely need to have as a community a society and yeah so this is the end of the video please let me know if you like it if you want me to do a part two 
please let me know and i'll drop it on my i'll um set up another quiz on my instagram which is aisha underscore alvinas on instagram please follow me if you are watching till this point the hashtag to put in the comment section is hashtag mental health let's just be advocates for mental health and because that's sort of also something that i've struggled with i feel like it will just be a good thing to you know talk about and create more awareness about but i love you so much from me to you guys till the next time love you to the moon and back i'll see you guys on the next upload ciao